Cable upper back pull down. Start by adjusting the grip straps around the straight bar. The straps that you see me using here are called the angles 90 grips. They just allow you to adjust your grip positioning with a little bit more freedom. If you don't have these, you can just use regular handles across the bar, or you can even just use the straight bar if you don't have access to those either. Once you've set those up, you wanna get into position on the bench, and I would make sure that your feet are pressing against the bench at the bottom. And if your bench does not allow for that, I would set up some heavy dumbbells or heavy plates so that you can push your feet into them as you're pulling down. This is gonna allow you to create more stability. You're gonna arch your back slightly and initiate by driving your elbows out, then down and in towards your spine. Make sure that you're engaging your core and your glutes the entire time to stabilize. We only want the motion coming from our arms and our upper back. Keep that semi-pronated grip throughout the entire movement. So all this means is that your palms are gonna be angled toward each other, but not completely facing each other. Elbows should remain high throughout that pulling motion. And again, you're gonna be pulling back, out, and then down and in towards your spine. Maintain control the entire time and make sure that you're pulling with your upper back muscles. We don't wanna be swaying or using a lot of momentum. You can also do this movement standing up, but I like the seated bench support because it allows us to create a little bit more stability and get the most out of those upper back muscles. 